Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly, and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at a nifty tool called InstaWP. Now, if you have not heard of InstaWP, some people might say that you are living under a rock, but I guess that is me because while I had heard of them, I really wasn't sure what their value props actually were until I started using them a couple months back, and it has been an absolute game changer. So without further ado, let's dive into what InstaWP WP is what it could do for you and how I use it in my builds. As you guys can see here, I am on their website and I know that you guys can browse a website on your own, but what I really wanna focus on in today's video is what I think InstaWP's main value prop is, which is this first one here, which is staging. If you're anything like me and you build websites for clients, you're constantly doing this shuffle of either local development on your computer or spinning up staging subdomains on your primary server. So it's like clienta.youragency.com. And while those things work, it can be tedious, and it's also a pretty repetitive process, right? So even if your host allows you to auto-install WordPress, you still then have to add in all of your favorite plugins, the theme that you like using, and so on and so forth. But that right there is where InstaWP shakes things up. So I have an account here. You can actually get started for free, but let's go ahead and log in. So here we are in the InstaWP dashboard, and you'll notice there are a couple of different services that they offer. There's the staging service that I was just discussing, which allows you to quickly spin up sites. There's templates, which is absolutely incredible and plays into staging, so we'll talk about that in a second. Then we have hosting here, which I don't personally use, but this is a great option if you are looking to integrate your hosting into one platform. But let's take a look at that primary service that they offer, which is spinning up WordPress websites instantly and being able to build templates that you can deploy quickly as well. So let's jump into staging here. And as you can see, this is where we have a list of all of our different staging sites that we are working on. This would be similar to what you would do, again, in something like a low local WP, or even on your own subdomains. But the nice thing about this is everything happens instantly through InstaWP. So let's go ahead and spin up a new staging site. We're gonna come over here and click on add new. And the first thing it's gonna ask us is if we wanna add a new site from scratch, if we wanna add from a template that we've created, which I have this starter here, or you can go into their store where they have different templates that you can choose from, but we're not gonna touch on that part today. Let's go over to this from scratch. We have a default configuration, and then we can choose from sort of a predetermined list of plugins that InstaWP has integrated with their platform. But it doesn't stop there. You can actually add in your own plugins, which is great. We're gonna get to that in a moment. You could start from here. You could click on security and add WordFence, and you'll notice we now have one plugin. You could click on SEO and add Yoast, and now we have two plugins in here. We could go down to speed and add W3 Total Cache, and now we have three plugins in here. And then we can choose down here which WordPress version we want to install, which PHP we want the server configured at, where we want that server located, and then if we want to, we can enter a site name. If we don't do this, InstaWP will just generate one for us. And then InstaWP has this great option to be able to reserve a site. We're going to talk about what that is in just a moment, but let's go ahead and click create. And immediately we are up and running with our site. And if I click on this magic login here, you will notice that on the back end of this WordPress installation, we already have pre-installed those three plugins, W3 Total Cache, WordFence Security, and Yoast. By nature, InstaWP makes it really easy to spin up these sites quickly. So if you were just testing something out for a client or you were troubleshooting something and needed to spin up a fresh install, it makes it really easy to do that. But you'll notice each of these sites is set to expire in about seven days. So if this was a site that was gonna take a little bit more time than seven days to build out, you simply jump on over to the actions over here here, and we can reserve this site. I can go ahead and confirm this, and it would add it to my reserved sites list. And now we have that site that we just created reserved here, and we can begin building, and it will not be automatically deleted or removed from our account. Now, if you do not reserve the site after that seven-day period, you'll notice that the sites simply expire and then eventually are removed from your account. Now, like I was saying, templates are incredibly useful. You could actually build a site here in staging using all of the plugins and themes and styles and CSS that you like using on all of your builds. And then you simply jump on over to these actions again. And right next to that reserved action is this save template action. And clicking on that allows us to call this new template to 
give it a description, give it a template type, whether you want this to be publicly shared or private, and then we can go ahead and save. And what it does is it takes whatever our customizations were on this staging site here and adds it into our templates library here. And that is something that we now have saved so that we can spin it up and use it as a baseline in the future. So if I jump back over to staging here and I click on add new, I'm creating a new site. And as you'll recall, we did this from scratch initially, but I wanna actually do this from a template. So then it asks me what template I wanna do this from. I'm gonna say I wanna do it from new template too. We can say right here whether or not we want this to be a reserved site, and then we'll click create. And there you have it. That one took about a minute and a half to fully set up, but our website is ready. I can click on this magic login button here. This then takes me to the back end of WordPress, where as you'll notice without any configuration, not even selecting the plugins that I wanted, it automatically used my previous site as a template where we now have W3 Total Cache, WordFence, and Yoast installed here where we can then start building. So while that's kind of a rudimentary example, you can see how building out an initial staging site with all of your common tools, all of the things that you take time to set up initially with any build, you can then save that as a template and use it for all of your future builds, which is absolutely incredible. So now let's say you didn't want to create a staging site baseline and then save that as a template. Is there another way to go about doing this? And the answer is yes. Let's go ahead and click on add new here where we're adding a new site. And you'll notice there's a configuration and we can drop this down where we then have different configuration setups. I can click add new configuration, which then takes me out to my configurations page here where I can then configure some of the nuances behind the scenes on my install. So what does that look like? Well, let's click add new configuration. We'll call this building on WordPress and click add. When we've added this configuration, you'll notice that we're now editing the configuration right here. So we can go into our general and say that we want whatever the current version is and PHP, we want this to actually be 8.2. We want our server location in the US and we want by default this configuration to be reserved sites. Then we're gonna jump into our PHP setup and I am gonna show you another place where you can edit this, but here's where you can configure the PHP on your install as well. Something that I like to do is take the max here up to four and then I think everything else looks good there. We can then jump into WordPress and this is where things get pretty cool. You can set your defaults for the WP config. You can set your defaults for uh, settings here for language and username. Uh, this might be nice to have a static username and put in whatever a common username is that you use there. Whether you want these to be multi-site installations. And then here's where things get really cool. You can come into the pre-installed plugins and you can add links to repos or to the WordPress repo of those plugins and it will install them. And the same goes for themes, right? So it just needs to link to a direct zip file. Now this does need to be on something like GitHub or on the public repo for WordPress so that InstaWP can access it. And then you just tell it whether it is a plugin or a theme when you're doing that. And then another great feature is this faker content. You can come over here, enable faker, and if this is a sandbox site that you're spinning up, you might wanna have 10 posts already in there. Those are just fake posts. You might wanna have three pages already in there, and you need five categories set up with two attachments and two authors. That way you can pre-configure this without having to manually go through and do all of those things. Now, is that useful on a real build? No, but is it useful while you're playing around with things in a sandbox environment? Absolutely. And then you have a WooCommerce generator as well where you can do similar things like enabling this, where you have number of products created, number of orders in the system, number of coupons, discount amount, maximum discount amount, and the number of customers that are already on this demo site that you are creating. Once you have all of this set up, we simply click the save button here. Let's jump back over to our staging tab here. Click add new staging site. Now under configuration, I'm gonna come down to that BOWP that we created right here, and I'm gonna click create. Nothing else had to be done. You'll notice without speeding things up, that was instantly created. And when I log into the back end of the website using the magic login, you'll notice that when I jump over to posts here, I already have faker posts set up. If I jump into pages, we should have three demo pages set up, which we do, this exclusive one here, this preemptive one here, and this progressive one here. Then we also have WooCommerce pages that were automatically added because we checked the box there. And if we had checked the box for default WooCommerce orders or products, those would also fall under this as well. So pretty amazing what you can do right out of the box with InstaWP. Now, one other thing is once you've set up your site, let's go ahead and refresh this here so that we are looking at our staging sites listed out. You'll notice that I have this dedicated Aardvark site, which is the one we were just looking at. If I needed to change things with the PHP configuration or other advanced settings, those are all under the more 
or actions menu here where I could then jump into the PHP config, see how things are set up for this specific site. And if I needed to take my PHP workers down to three, I could simply do that here and click save. As you can see, we can move pretty quickly here. In the amount of time that you have been watching this video, we have set up and reset up a website three times, all with different kinds of content and different configurations. So you can be using this too. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. Please let me know in the comments below if you are using InstaWP or something similar. I'd love to hear what you guys are using out there. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.